hello you all welcome back to my channel thank you so much for connecting with me today in this video we're going to be praying okay this is going to be um a completely different video from what i normally do but this is an instruction that i um received from the lord god almighty my father my daddy so um i'm going to be praying i'm going to read a few scriptures and then i'm going to pray i'm going to read first corinthians 14 33 says for God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. That is what 1 Corinthians 14.33 says. So I just want to uh, pray for you that maybe going through some sort of confusion in your mind, in your life right now, so 1 Corinthians 14.33 has just explained to us, pretty much given us a clear understanding of um, the character and nature of God really in very, very simple terms. God is not a God of confusion. God is not a God of chaos, right? He's a God of peace, right? God wants you not to be confused, but, but to be still and to be calm and to have his peace in your heart so um uh, with regards so with regards to whatever you know issues you're going through or facing in your life at this time in your life i just want to pray with you and i and i want to reassure you that you know god is with you he's he's not the one causing the confusion in your mind he is with you in your confusion but he's not causing that confusion the enemy is the one causing all the confusion inside of your mind with regards to your particular situation okay it says he's a god of peace it says in his word that he is a god of peace okay so we're just gonna pray father in the name of jesus christ i thank you for your word in first corinthians 14 33 heavenly father I pray today for your people, for whoever is watching this, that the confusion that they are currently going through or experiencing in their lives, oh God, I pray, Heavenly Father, oh Lord, that it be destroyed away from them in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray against that foul spirit of confusion. I command that spirit of confusion to lose your hold off of the minds and the lives of these ones that are watching watching this prayer video right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ you spirit of confusion lose your hold in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth because the word of god says that god is not a god of confusion but our god is a god of peace lord even right now i speak your peace your peace that surpasses all human understanding i I speak that peace into the hearts and the minds of your people in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, receive peace. Receive the peace of God. Receive the peace of God into your heart. Receive the peace of God into your mind. Receive the peace of God into your spirit. Receive the peace of God into your mind, your body, your soul. Receive the peace of God right now. Receive that peace in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and we give you glory for answered prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. So we're going to go on to the next prayer uh, point. So I'm going to read Colossians 3.15, okay? And then we'll pray again. Colossians 3.15 says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body you were called to peace and be thankful isn't that beautiful that god called his people to peace god called his holy people to a life of peace right when you have christ in you you will have his peace even if you're going through you know um something in your life that is confusing you you still have that peace of god so i'm gonna pray um because i can understand that sometimes life can be so challenging and overwhelming 
you know, with all of, you know, it's um, daily, you know, issues that come your way. But I want to reassure you again that God's peace is going to keep you in Jesus name. And according to Colossians 3.15, that says, let the peace of Christ rule in your heart. Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart. So don't let everything else that you're going through overwhelm you so much to the point that you completely lose that peace that God has given you from the very beginning when you gave your life to Jesus Christ, if you are born again. Um, yeah, so I, I want to pray um, that God's peace that is in Christ will rule your heart. That's my prayer. I want to pray that God's peace that is in Christ will rule your heart um, and keep you in, in one peace, right? Um, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you once again for your word in Colossians 3.15. Thank you for the peace of Christ. Oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. I feel the spirit of the living God right now. I feel you, Holy Spirit. I know you are here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you for your peace that is ruling in the hearts of your people right now. I thank you that even in this day that you have made in their lives, oh God, Lord, you kept them till this day, Heavenly Father. I thank you that they're here because you sent them here. You, and they're here because you kept them alive, Father Lord. And I pray, Lord God, that whatever situation in your heart oh god that they've been dealing with and struggling with oh god i pray for your peace to rule i pray for your peace to take over right now in the name of jesus christ i pray for your peace to take over even as your word has said oh god in colossians 3 15 let your peace begin to take over in the mighty name of jesus christ that everything else oh lord that is boggling and and you know, that they're struggling with in their minds and their hearts, Heavenly Father, let your peace, O oh Lord, completely overrule that thing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let your peace, O oh Lord, destroy and remove every matter of chaos, Heavenly Father, every confusion, every wall of doubt and uncertainty and fear in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, Father, we thank you. I speak the peace of God over you right now. I speak the peace of God over you right now. Receive the peace of God to rule in your hearts. I decree and I declare boldly the peace of the living God, the peace of the Holy Spirit, the peace of Jesus Christ that he left with us is ruling in your heart right now. The peace he has given you when you came to him to give your lives to him. That peace is ruling in your heart. When receive the peace of God. Receive the peace of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm going to read one more scripture and then we will say a closing prayer and end the video. So the last scripture is 1 Peter 5, 7. And that says, cast all your anxiety on him. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. So what is um, 1 Peter 5, 5, 7 saying here? It is just simply saying whatever it is that is causing you to be nervous, to be afraid, to be fearful, whatever it is, it is in your in your mind or in your spirit that is just stressing you out and making you think and think and think and worry and worry and worry and, and whatever it is that is you know putting you in that state of confusion or doubt or you know anxiety you know being anxious every single day you know not knowing what's gonna happen not knowing which path to take or what to do or where to turn God is saying cast it onto me and how do you cast all your anxiety Unto God, you just go to Him in prayer and you just say, Lord, I surrender everything. Everything that is boggling, stressing me right now, confusing me, worrying me, causing me to be so anxious, Lord. Whenever you sense that spirit of um, confusion or worry or doubt or fear or anxiety, cast it away. Always. Always use the name of Jesus Christ. There is power. If you're a believer in Christ, there is power in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you're not born again, there's going to be a prayer of salvation at the end of this video as well. So 
um, surrender your you know your anxiety your um, you know worries your doubts your fears just go to god kneel down humble yourself and kneel down and say god i surrender this matter to you i can assure you that when you take everything to the feet of jesus and you just kneel down there kneel down at his feet and just surrender everything to him he will give you a very strange but powerful um, peace and calmness will come over you when you do that. I can assure you that when you do that, you will receive his peace in that moment. But don't go away from there and go back into, you know, the world and just allow things to, you know, just overwhelm you again. No, when you sense, you know, anxiety and confusion and worry and doubt and fear and all these things beginning to creep up, that's when you need to say, Lord, I hand it over to you again. Lord, take control. Lord, let your will be done. Don't worry about every little thing. Let God worry about your worries. Because you know why? When he worries about your worries, he's taking care of everything because God can't because because God can't even worry in the first place. But just give it to him. Let it be his business, right? You just do what you need to do regarding that particular situation. But let him be the one to worry about your issues. You giving it to him is a sign of trust that you're giving this, this part of you that you don't want. Give it, give it to him. Every part of you that you don't want, just give it to him. Anyway, without speaking too much, let's get along to praying. This last prayer point inspired by 1 Peter 5. Seven. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you once again for your word in First Peter 5, 7. Abba Father, I pray, O oh God, that even in this moment, O oh Lord, for as many as are listening and watching and praying along, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you know what they're going through. You know what they're facing. You know what their challenges are. I pray, O oh God, for your peace, O oh God, to take over, Heavenly Father, that when they come to you, O oh Lord, to surrender, O oh Lord, everything that they are going through, O oh God, every one of their troubles, their anxieties, their fears, the confusion, the doubts, the worries, oh Lord. Father, take it all, oh God. Let it be yours, Heavenly Father, oh Lord, that they will have none of those such things, oh God, disturbing them in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, I pray even right now, Heavenly Father, that as they begin to surrender to you right now, Heavenly Father, take it away, Heavenly Father. Take away every anxiety. Take away every fear. Take away every worry. Take away every doubt, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We know those things of the cross in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory because we know, Heavenly Father, oh God, that you care for us, Heavenly Father. For every single one of them praying along, Heavenly Father, we know that you care for us, oh Lord, and we love you and we give you all the glory and we give you all the praise and we give you all the honor, Heavenly Father, even as we surrender, oh Lord, all that we're going through. We give it all away to you, Heavenly Father, because we know that the good work that you have begun in our lives, you will perfect it until the day of Jesus Christ. So Father, take all the praise in Jesus' name. Thank you for answered prayers. Amen. Hallelujah. So thank you so much for joining me on this prayer video today. I'm very, very grateful to God um, for this opportunity to be able to pray with you all. So if you're connecting with me for the first time, I want to encourage you to give your lives to Jesus. These prayers will make more sense and have more meaning in your life if you are surrendered to Christ. So I just want to encourage you to turn to Jesus today. And if you've made up your mind that Christ is the way that you want to go, because he is the only way, he is the truth, and he is the life. Okay, I want you to say this prayer after me. God loves you very much. And that's why he sent Christ to take your place. Okay, so say this prayer with me. Okay. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to be in your presence. I thank you, O oh Lord, for Jesus Christ. And I come to you right now, O oh God, because I believe that Christ died for me and he rose on the third day. And I thank you, Father, O oh Lord, that even as I surrender to you today and give my life to you, O oh God, I know that you care for me, O oh Lord. So I ask, O oh God, that you would um, grant me the grace, Lord, grant me the grace to live for you from this day onwards, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I 
lay everything down before you today father oh lord all my worries all my fears all my doubts heavenly father every confusion in my mind i lay it down before you heavenly father and i surrender my life i surrender my heart i surrender my my will my spirit my everything my body i give it all to you father oh god and i pray Lord god that you will have your way in me oh lord even from this day onwards that i will live a life that will bring you glory praise and honor in jesus christ's name i pray amen Hallelujah. Congratulations on saying that prayer of salvation and welcome to the family of Christ. Your life is about to change forever by his grace. So continue to trust in him and wait on him and praise him. Hallelujah. So thank you all for joining me today. I'll see you all in my next video. Take care and continue to be encouraged in your spirit. Continue to feed upon God's word and he will surely bring to pass what he has promised in his word in your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Bye, guys.